hair is definitely giving like you went to a hair salon and you sat at a beautician's seat okay you sat in a beautician's seat and she laid and slayed your hair to perfection okay because this is how my hair used to come out when i used to go to a beautician all right and we can arrive the book and share that beat of love i want to ride the hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i will be tackling this beautiful mane of mine that's just looking a tad bit crazy today but that's all right because you know in a few we're gonna get her together um so i'm gonna try and tackle a silk press at home which i have done before this is not my first what do they say rodeo this is not my first time doing this so i kind of have a clue on what i'm doing but i am testing out a new blow dryer today that i got that's supposed to make silk presses and you know um straightening your hair a lot easier and faster now that blow dryer today to see if that helps with the process but besides that i kind of already have an idea on what i'm doing so yeah in about a week i will be getting um my hair braided so this is just a little in the meantime in between time hairstyle okay i don't expect it to last as long as a regular silk press i actually don't expect it to last long period okay we just want this done just so it's a lot easier for us to maneuver during the week up until we get our hair done if you're interested on in seeing me turn my hair from this to this then keep on watching okay so i did get a wash and set by the dominicans done about uh two weeks ago so it's been two weeks since my hair has been washed so it's very much needed at this point my hair is very greasy because i have been using a lot of oil and gel to slick it down for the past week and a half because the soap press only lasted like the wash and set only lasted like two three days once i started going to the gym it was a wrap but um for the past week and a half or so i have been slicking it down into like a low bun um so it required me to use a lot of oil and a lot of gel so my hair is very greasy and stringy um for the most part though my hair is kind of straight um it hasn't reverted back to its natural state completely although i cannot speak for my roots my roots she stickums okay she's very much given sikiani in here she's very she's very thick okay so my roots have started to revert back um to its natural state because i've been sweating i've been going i've been hitting it hard in the gym y'all i've been hitting it hard in the gym so my hair has been you know the roots are you know starting to get thick again but that's fine that's the that's the least that's that's what i expected to happen but the fact that hair stayed straight is a bit of a shocker so the first thing i'm going to do obviously is wash it um i will not be recording that process only because i feel like it is self-explanatory um i don't use any special product or method to wash my hair um so i will not be recording that process uh but i will be showing you guys once i'm done washing it and how we're gonna style it after i wash okay so we are back i have washed my hair i put a little bit of a hair mask treatment in there um and then i put on a steam cap on for about 10 minutes and then i washed it out conditioned and here we are i did detangle it um while i was washing it when i had put the conditioner in um so it's pretty manageable at this point um for the most part it is <laughs> drying up very fast um it's not as wet as it was originally but 
that is okay i am about to now do my hair in some sections maybe like six sections um three here three here so that we can start using the blow dryer so start off with this first section here first but um i am going to split it in half like so at the first let me comb it through and then i'm also going to be putting some uh of this leave-in conditioner uh myel white peony leave-in conditioner um so i am going to spray some of this in my hair i did get it from Marshalls for 10 bucks. So yeah, and I'm also going to go in with my L'Oreal sleek it iron straight heat protectant spray If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my mirror I'm just gonna... Ooh. I'm also going to take this detangling brush and help to even out the product throughout the hair. Okay. And then I'm also going to go in and spray it with the heat protectant. And then comb that through too. Okay. And then before I do it, I'm just going to twist it up. And this is how I'm going to do it in sections so that it's easier for me to um, blow dry it. So I'm just now going to do this to the rest of my hair. Okay, it's all done now. I've sectioned it off. I have put leave-in conditioner, um, heat protectant spray, and detangled it twice um, each section so this should go pretty smoothly okay, so the new blow dryer that I was telling you guys about that I wanted to try out today is the infinity pro by Conair this is what it looks like um, it has these little it has like tiny bristles in between each I guess comb and um, yeah so this head, it can detach off and put on. And I assume it's because you can use, they have other heads you can use, but with the package, it just came with this head and the body. Uh, also, it gives us three settings. It gives us cool, low, and high, three settings. And it also gives us this cool button in case it gets too hot and you want to use this button instead this can this is also a cool button to set it and that's pretty much it to it um so hopefully it works i've never used anything like this before i'm used to the traditional blow dryer but i have been hearing some mixed reviews about this blow dryer or not this particular one but like blow dryers that are similar to this and so I just wanted to try it out myself. It did say that it's um, the not doctor. <laughs> All right, so let's start. I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna clip away the sections that I'm not using so it's not in the way. So, like this. so we clipped it away. And so now we're gonna start off with this section here. So like I said, it's already detangled, but I am gonna detangle it again once more just to make sure. All right, and then we're gonna crank it up to the highest. We're gonna crank it up to the highest setting and use it.
recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Okay, so I finished the first two sections of my hair. Um, so far, it's done pretty well. My hair is um, straighter than normal, how it normally will be would be um, if I had just used a regular blow dryer or like my regular blow dryer. It's a lot straighter than that. Also, um, like I said, it does have these little bristles and at no point did my hair snag or anything like that. So that's pretty good as well yeah so so far so good and it did get up high in heat so yeah it's it's good so far so let's continue with the rest of my hair and then yeah we'll come back when it's done all dried um yep we feel fully dried now um as you can see, it comes with like a barrel type of thing. So I thought it would be able to curl. Well, I wasn't expecting like a full bump, but I thought it would at least give it a little bit of a, you know, nice little curl to it, but it does not do that. As you can see, I tried to <laughs> do it and it did nothing. Did absolutely nothing <laughs> so it, if you're looking for it to curl and you have hair type like mine which is like a 4c um, this is a no for you okay uh, but it does dry my hair and it did get it a lot straighter than a regular blow dryer would have so in that case it's it's a it's a win you know a win is a win okay so now I'm going to get ready to flat iron it, which is my favorite part. So stick around, see that. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite part, which is flat ironing it. So before I get to uh, the main part, I'm gonna uh, straighten out the edges and the nape of my neck. So I'm gonna put my hair in like a little high ponytail and we're gonna just do up like that and I'm gonna take a fine tooth comb with a sharp um, tail <laughs> and just do the nape of my neck just to make sure those parts are straight okay I am also gonna go in with a little bit more Heat protectant because now we're gonna flat iron it and yeah so I am gonna use my small tiny um, flat iron I believe this is like a one inch don't quote me on it but yeah Okay, so we got around the nape and the front of our head um, straight or straighter than what it was before. So now we're going to go through to our the rest of our head. But I'm going to use a bigger flat iron too. So first things first, I'm just going to um, do small sections. So I'm going to start off here. It's the same. I'm gonna use a comb. The nape of the neck here. Oh, wait. First, let's spray our entire head with heat protectant. Or more heat protectant, I should say.
guys so i finished flat ironing my hair off camera um and this is the final product of flat ironing it and getting it straight um as you can see it's just straight there's no bump or curl to it so i am going to do about one or two passes on my hair just to get the ends just a little bumped so like that so i'm gonna do my bang last i'm gonna do that last and then i'm gonna just go around and just bump bump the ends one time like that nothing too crazy do the same on that Okay, so we've done that. I'm gonna then use like this wide tooth comb and just comb it through. Mmm, it's looking good so far, y'all. It's given 1990s wash and set when you go to a beautician. Okay, it's given when you go to a beautician. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the bangs, but I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, hey, y'all. All right. So this is what it's looking like so far. These little flyaways here, I'm not a fan. So, so I'm gonna take my uh, professional Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity hairspray. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to just spray that area and just use my comb just to tame the flyaways and you can see the part a lot more too and then i'm also going to spray in the front here so that these flyaways are good too
so this is the final product of my hair i love it it looks so soft and it's so shiny it's giving healthy okay it's giving healthy hair um yeah and it's very flowy as well and bouncy <laughs> yes it's definitely giving um my edges i just took some of this um hairspray my sebastian hairspray with my edge brush and just swooped it the two little swoop situations and that was it and that's that and then for the flyaways y'all saw i sprayed a little bit of this as well on the top and that helped to tame some of the flyaways that was going a little crazy up here um let me turn around so you guys can see the back how how was the back looking y'all it was looking good right yeah mm -hmm, i know yeah it's definitely giving thick full and healthy and i love it okay so this is just a little hairstyle that's gonna last me in the meantime in between time until i get my braids done in a week okay and i think it'll do just that even if it doesn't stay like this straight where i can wear it out like this at least it is um, manageable enough for me to just put it back into a little ponytail and rock out until it's time for me to get my hair done my, this is the healthiest my hair has ever looked in a very long time and so i'm very happy <laughs> okay so this concludes today's video i hope you guys love this video as much as i love making it um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i love seeing y'all comment in the comment section and i definitely interact with y'all so yeah please leave a comment down below as well as liking this video sharing it amongst your friends and family and clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already okay again thank you guys so much for watching bye I love you.